Okay, well, I'm back <clears throat> from looking. I did find one house here that was nice that I did look, but I think I'm going to go down the road. Now, everybody's given me a lot of good ideas. Prescott, I did check some properties online in Prescott. Nothing in my price range. Now, I do remember Prescott. It's further up from Phoenix. Um, I really did like the area when I was there visiting. Um, I used to live in Tempe, Arizona, and I went up to Prescott before, and I do remember that wasn't really nice area. Um, I may call your friend and see about that, but I doubt there's anything in my price range there. Um, now, I did look, somebody said New Mexico's a lot of crime. It's a lot less crime according to the stats in Las Cruces than it is in Tucson. Now, somebody said Tucson is great, northeastern part of Tucson. When I look online, I don't know the areas, which is, you know, which is what. <laughs> so, again, you know, since I'm not living there, it's a little difficult looking online and trying to find something in the decent area in my price range. Um, and then somebody else uh, suggested Zion, Utah. I never looked in Utah. Um, I have seen pictures of Zion area where they have the beautiful, what is it, like a sandstone or something? Lovely. Um, so I'll look at that area online as well because I have never looked at Utah. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, tomorrow morning headed down the road towards west. Go west. <laughs> oh. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna head westward and just look and see what I find. Um, and thought, you know what? There's no sense to hang around here. I can't really do anything anyway until my house sells and I have cash in hand and then that's a much, much better way to do it. So I think that I'm gonna just uh, head down the road and um, look and see what I can find, okay? Oh, mercy. You know, my number one thing moving, I want a place where I can do my Native American flute music, more of it. And so that's one of the number one factors. Uh, number two, I do like the Adobe style house. I like to have a fireplace is something I'd like to have. Uh, wood floors if possible, and um, gas stove. I prefer gas over electric. Um, it's not like I want a whole lot, you know. <laughs> but you'd be surprised how difficult it is to find. You know, I like things that are like uh, more the shabby, chic, kind of, you know, whitewashed and kind of worn looking. That's fine with me. But uh, again, we'll, we'll look and see what I can find. So I'm gonna go back online, keep checking with the areas. Uh, if you see something online that you think is stellar, let me know. I have to stay, really, I don't wanna go more than 130,000, um, which is low. That's, you know, when my house is sold all in, I should get 130000 is what I'm guesstimating. Um, so I don't want to have a mortgage. I'm trying to uh, find a place that I can get into. It's got to be large enough. If it's like I looked at a place today that was, what was it, 1,100 square foot or something. The rooms were just way too small. I need to have one room that's for music. I've got a ton of instruments and amplifiers and microphones and, and it just I need one full room for music uh, I need one room to do my readings you know I want to set up for tarot I've got so many tarot cards and the crystals and all of that is going into one room <laughs> and a bedroom <laughs> okay so yeah oh. 
the hunt continues. I know eventually just the right place is going to pop up. I did see a um, couple of places that I liked that were um, like the adobe style. But again, I don't know the area that they're in, you know, if it's a decent area or not. I don't want an area where they've got a lot of crime. Now, see where I lived it before in Mesa, down the road, not too far from where I was at, was a very big crime area, you know. So again, you can have pockets like where I'm at in Oakland Park. I'm in a little pocket neighborhood that's quiet, no problem. You know, it's a good place. Yet surrounding, there are neighborhoods which are not so great. So again, you got to know the neighborhoods. And uh, being that I haven't lived in those areas before, I'm kind of flying blind on this. But anyway, we'll see. Oh, somebody was saying get my money back. They were very nice. I signed yes last night and gave him my credit card everything for a month and then told him this morning you know what i think i'm gonna leave and you know i'm gonna leave i'm gonna stay one more night and then i'm gonna go down the road uh because i can't even fill up the water i'm paying for water and uh electric and i can't even use the water and i'm just about out um they've got it all wrapped for the winter you know so the lines don't freeze well I need water, okay? <laughs> uh, so that's not working here either. So I need to get out of where it's freezing so I can actually, you know, get some water and, and things that I need to have in here to live. So I'm gonna, like I said, tomorrow I'm heading down the road or up the road or across the road or whatever it is. <laughs> Anyway, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so just wanted to update everyone. Thank you for all of your support in this. I really appreciate all of the suggestions. Trust me, I've read them all. And uh, let's see how things go. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. See you online. And again, don't forget, check out thecauldron.net streaming really unusual channel um, and I heard about four or five of my songs last night I couldn't believe it that was great anyway so exciting when you're a musician and you hear your first song on the radio okay red letter day anyway I'll see you online thanks for tuning in Aho.